Hey, hey everyone, what's up? It's Milan Ducati Biker, and let's talk Supreme. Supreme, 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 Supreme. I've been traveling through Europe with these bikes from Ducati Germany. And as I traveled through, all I heard was about, and all I saw online was about the Supreme collab, the bike, the things like that, which I think the bike and the helmet and the gear are really cool. And then all these other images came out about Supreme, and I got my phone blown up by all these people asking talking about my opinion some people i've had so many messages from people like yo can you get access to supreme can you get this can you get that and i was like oh uh, well no not really and i'm just trying to find a nice little spot to sit but um all right so my thoughts about the preem the supreme lineup and collection it's a fashion statement so ducati's going for you know the, the fashion statement which they, which they've done a bunch of different times and all right, so the Supreme collab was like a fashion statement, but a lot of you got, um, what I would say, intimidated or scared by some of the photos they put. And I just want to clear something out. Um, having followed the Ducati branding and marketing techniques my whole life, not working with them, but following what they do and try to keep in line with they, well, what their goals and visions are. Obviously, as you know, everything changes and evolves throughout the years, different collaborations, different brands, different sponsorships, different race teams. And Supreme, from my understanding, is a off-brand of Louis Vuitton. And I've seen Supreme stuff before. It's not really my style. I get how it's like, I would say a fashion hype brand off of Louis Vuitton. So you get the people who not can't afford Louis Vuitton, but want a more hype or hip style of it without the LVs, you go for Supreme, which is, which is fine. You know, it's just an off brand of, you know, when like Gucci North Face did something, it's just a collab, which is fine. But here's the truth behind the photos and the marketing that you guys see right here, which, which, which kind of shocked the internet. And this is just from my experience with having followed what Ducati does. I guarantee you this is what happened. Supreme or Ducati reached out, they're like, boom, let's make a collab. They're like, yeah, the designers came, designed all the gear, all the apparel, they designed the motorcycle, the stripe, the helmet, the suit, and they're like, sweet, Ducati loved it. And then the first week or first few days, we see the photos come out of the bike and Supreme. And everyone's like, boom, the hype, Supreme, really cool. But then, but then they didn't launch the apparel, the photo or the video shoot for the apparel, the photo shoot for the Supreme apparel. And if you look in the comments of Ducati, a lot of people are like, how could this happen? This is against Ducatistas. And having talked and communicated with the people in marketing and Ducati and also social media, they're super busy. Ducati is like extremely, extremely busy. So yes, they passed this Supreme thing, but did they, Ducati specifically, make that content? I don't believe so, and I don't think so. So they passed the idea, they passed the merch, and then Supreme was like, okay, we're gonna do our own our own content, our own launch. And so they picked these models, which are totally fine, these models right here. But I don't think that photo shoot and those photos were approved by Ducati. I think Ducati was like, yeah, it's great, Supreme, you guys know what you do, you have your reputation. Like you could market Ducati Supreme however you'd like. Did, Ducati didn't necessarily have to have a word in it because um, you know, they believe in trust. And also a little bit of controversy is not bad publicity because now everyone is like, I bet you so many people now are introduced to Ducati just because it's Supreme. Like people follow Supreme as a hype brand and as an off brand to be into different niches, but not be immersed into that niche entirely. So Ducati says they're like, this does not stand with the Ducati morals, the image. It's too gangster. Let's be honest. Supreme, you're fine. Ducati, you're fine. But whoever choreographed and videographed that shot with those models in New York or wherever it was, was... I, in my personal opinion, I think it was extreme. It was gangster. I've never seen a gangster collab. And when I first saw the glove and the guy holding the glove like this and there was like that chain and the chain there, I was like, okay, this is gonna be something for like maybe young kids who get the hyper and they wanna, they wanna be supreme on the hyper mode tire, which is cool. I want all the young kids to start riding hypers and, and be safe on the road with a bike that's technology. But the images, um, are what got the most controversy, which got the most backlash. And uh, I think Ducati kind of looks at it and says, oh, wow, okay. But then also like, we're not really, it's not that we're not responsible. Ducati's responsible for all their stuff, but that those images will blow past. It started a little hype, it's gonna blow past. It's not a big deal. What really bothered me about the Ducati and the Supreme collab is how those images were marketed, but it was too strong and it was too aggressive. And, and here's the reason why. I've been a Ducatista like my whole life for like 12 years. Not my whole life, 12 years. As soon as I was able to ride a Ducati, that's when I became a Ducatista. 
And Ducati for me has always been a status of, of wealth. It's been a symbol of wealth. If you had the Ducati badge, and I know I'm making a heart, but when you have the Ducati badge, when I was a kid and I saw people, when I saw a guy roll up on his Ducati, it was success. The guy was successful. He, 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 he worked really hard in his life to earn his dream bike and he contributed to society. And it, it was a clean, beautiful image of success. Ducati equals success to me. It's what's driven me to do all these things and work with all these people. I want to be successful. And I want to be successful riding a Ducati. And this Supreme collab, I think, is the complete opposite. It brings a generation of kids who are going to buy the merchandise and not the motorcycle. And so it's going to create, in my opinion, opposing era, which is fine because it's a different level of marketing for Ducati. And it's going to get the younger kids and different generations and, and stuff like that. But... Um, I, it's not that I don't agree with it. I think Supreme themselves, before posting all these photos or giving it to Ducati or however, um, and again, I know the people behind the social media Ducati, lovely people, I consider, my, I consider them my friends. I hope they think that they're my friends too. Uh, I'm their friend too, but um, they're super busy. And so sometimes they're just like, they trust the brand to do things and they pass it off. And then sometimes, you know, Supreme will give them the photos and like, here you go, Ducati. And they're like, okay, great. We'll just upload it to our socials. And they didn't really take the time because they're super busy. Ducati is super busy. But long story short, I think what Supreme did for Ducati um, is a great fashion statement. But how they marketed it with those models and those people in New York takes away the Ducati and that brand value. And what I don't want to see coming forward in the future of Ducati is less educated people in that industry. Ducati, if you buy a Ducati motorcycle, like I said, the status, it's a wealth thing, it's an education thing. You're, you're well informed about the bike, about the technology, how it works, and you just don't buy it because it's cool. Like I spend so much money and everything involvement into Ducati, and I know all these other older people do because you have to be wealthy and independent or be smart like me to be able to facilitate and do all these things with your friends. And what Supreme did with Ducati doesn't stand for that image at all. So it's interesting. Ducati's done a bunch of different things over the year. Next Generation Scrambler, Electric Pentagale, the RS Multistrada. And I felt like they've always kind of aligned within their marketing perspective, which was like Audi and Volkswagen, stuff like that. But I'm just telling you, I don't think those images got passed by my friends at the media. And if they did, that's cool. They're probably like, wow, this is intense. It's going to shock and it's going to create a lot of drama. It's going to create a lot of drama between the Ducatistas and the new Ducati comers, but it's also just a, dim a different feel and image for the brand. And the reason I'm shouting, not shouting this, the reason I'm saying this a lot right now is just because I've gotten so many messages from people saying, how did they let this happen? Or also, where could I get this? And it's so funny because <laughs> I got messages from so many people who don't ride Ducatis, who wanted to, who were following me or I stayed at this place and stuff like that. And they messaged me like, dude, how can I get this? This is awesome. And they don't own a Ducati. And then I have all my friends who own Ducatis in the future. And they're like, dude, did you see this? Like, wh like what happened? And for me, again, it's not that I didn't see. I'm like, I'm like touring right now through like like Europe right now and it's, it's it's kind of like a lot so I'm gonna switch things around all I want to say about the Ducati and the Supreme collab is just that for that collaboration it changes oh my god wait there's an avalanche holy smokes holy smokes wow I'll get to witness an avalanche holy cow that's awesome Whoa. Just try to do an interview here and then freaking. This is the Supreme Ducati result of the collaboration. It's caused an avalanche. Ducati and Supreme have caused avalanches in the Swiss Alps. Wow, guys, that's pretty cool. Um, to wrap it up, I got my team showing up and we're about to head out. Nothing negative. I just didn't see any positivity out of that collaboration in terms of images, not the actual brand and, and you know, uh, apparel and things that they did themselves. But long story short, I just want you guys to re recognize everything I do moving forward with Ducati and stuff like that is just to keep the brand recognition and the status of wealth. Like I said, ever since I was a kid, this symbol means to me that you are successful, you're a good person, you have good morals, and you've worked really, really hard to become a Ducatista because you've earned it and it's a status a, a, a status and a symbol of wealth and, and good imagery and that's just what I support that's how, what I'll always support in the Ducati world and you know if 
I don't think I'll ever wear the Supreme stuff unless someone gave it to me. And Supreme gave it to me and said, Milan, we'd love your, you know, your image and your clean style with this, uh, with this apparel, make some really cool content and then, uh, you know, show your point of view of, of how you could, you know, market Supreme. So uh, that's all I have to say. And the only thing I said it like three or four times and the difference is just because that image I didn't feel like aligned with Ducati's brand goals and visions, but it did start a lot of controversy. But again, I just, Ducati has always been a status and symbol of success and wealth for people who wanted it and worked really hard for it. And I don't think that's the case with Supreme. So that's just my two cents. Um, either way, got the team here. I'm heading out. If you guys uh, have any other questions, write in the comments below. If you have Supreme gear, send it my way. <laughs>